Hey everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun. In the In the last episode, we Eh? Here we go. In the last episode, we explored Crossbone Isle and and uh finding that we could only get a little ways into it, we returned to the ship and made our way to Tolby's port. Now let's start by solving this puzzle here, which isn't really much of a puzzle, just gotta use your synergy on these boxes to move them. Who knows why the heck they're fenced off like that. The actor for the Ugh! Get out of the way! <coughs> and over here we get a potion! Alright, that's Tolby over there, but there's something we probably ought to do first. You can't exactly cross the Caragol Sea again, so how do you get back to Angara? We will see. As soon as this battle is over. Got a couple new enemies here, the Rabid Bat and the Armored Rat. They're just recolors of other enemies. <laughs> Not really that dangerous. Especially if you got Mia with her four Mercury Jenny. Four Mercury Jin, rather. Probably I'll go to a Sanctum, but eh, I don't feel like it. This is Gondolin Cave. Isaac just hit level uh, 18, I believe. And, uh, what was I gonna say? This will, right, this will take us to the other side of the sea where we can, uh, you know. I just want to open up a path now. Because once you clear this cave the first time, there is a shortcut that you can take. So you don't have to keep going through the cave over and over. It would kind of help if you could teleport, but that's not really an option in this game. In a lost age, though, there that is an option. But you don't get to do that until very late in the game. I don't want to spoil it, but you'll see. Although, well, speaking of the lost age, I don't know if I'm going to start it right after I finish this game or if I am gonna or if I want to uh, save it for a little bit later let's see boost it to attack power that would work best for Isaac I have our items so why the heck not use them right Kobold. They look a lot different than they do in the next game. Heck, they look a lot different than they do in every game. Nobody can decide what they are, apparently. No. Anyway. All you got to do is move this rock off to the side and it falls off and it makes a bridge. Combine that with pushing this rock off the ledge there. 
and you have a passage to Angara. Now let's head back to Gondwin. I will meet you guys there. And here we are outside the cave. Now, if we go around this way, press R to check your map, you will see that you can actually walk around the Caragal Sea, and it's actually not that, not as big as the uh, thing with the ship made it look. As you can see, you can see across the sea from here, actually. So, I don't know what they were thinking. Doesn't take that long to walk walk around the sea. So we just go around, go around, as usual. No mage. No, Mr. Welsh, gnomes are not nature's tripods. What's this? Just a useless patch of woods, apparently. Garrett just mastered Flare Storm! Sweet. And look who we found here! It's another Venus Jenny! That's number 5 out of 7. And this one is Ground. Use gravity to hold a foe. Alright, now we've taken care of that, um. Let me check my notes, actually. Right, there's a couple of things we can... There's a couple of things we can do back on, uh... Angara now. But first I want to stop in Toby and get a Ginny there. Welcome to Tolby. There's a little bit of stuff we can do here. Like, grow that vine over there. That ivy, rather. This lets us climb up and freeze this thing of this puddle of water. I never understood why the water in this game grows into a pillar like that when you freeze it. Realistically, that shouldn't happen. Here we have our fourth Mars Ginny! This is Ember. This will promote Garrett to Warrior and also give him the spells Guard, Protect, and Impair. Restore party PP with Passion's Flames. 
That'll be really useful later on. Actually, that'll be really useful now. What the heck am I saying? Alright, now we go back to Angara. Specifically, we want to go back to Calais. So, going. Ivan just mastered the second level of Whirlwind, Tornado. It is a five target spell. And it is quite useful. But now's not the time to be using it because I'm on my way back to Calais. There's Calais. Alright, now while we're running around, we want to find a place where we can get onto the roof of a building. Like here. Jump here. Then move the statue off to the side. Enter the cave. This is Calais Tunnel. There's a little bit of stuff we can do here now, although... We were meant to get to part of this place until later, but there is a Mars Gen now that we can get. I don't know why I didn't notice this first. Maybe I just didn't do enough exploring. <laughs> he joins us without a fight. Isn't that nice of him? The Mars Gen Scorch joined Garrett. Stun a foe with a blast attack. Do we want to keep going? Why the heck not? We can't open this door, but we go around and go around here. There's a staircase leading down. And another staircase leading up. And this just leads into the palace. So yeah, let's just go back. How much money do we have? 14,000. That's quite a bit. Let's see. Artifact. We got a lot of stuff here. Hey! <coughs> now let's buy claymores for. Oh, what do you know? That's, uh. Ah. For. Buying one for Garrett isn't worth it. Oh, what? Alright, sell some of Isaac's stuff. Like the smoke bomb. These antidotes. There. Buy this great axe for Isaac. Get the game ticket to Garrett. His stock of those is almost full now. And in the next episode, we will be going to Vault. And then to Vale to pick up more gin. See you guys then.